Okay, so searching for Amiga CD32 power pinout on Google comes up with an image thing, and we'll get into that in a second. But the first item, the first hit on Google is this HWB page. So we go to that, and we have a pinout here. Guess what? Wrong. Incorrect. This is absolutely 100% wrong. I've checked it two, three times. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, but I, I tested my power supply against this. This is supposed to be the four pin DIN mail. Even if I had it reversed, it still wouldn't be right because a mirror image of this uh, or, you know, these are mirror images of each other. Uh, but either way, they do not line up here. And so that can actually cause somebody to blow up their CD32. So if you know the um, contributors to this, um, Joaquim Ogren, um, or anybody who develops the site, please let him know. Uh, he, he actually has a source for it. So let's go check out the source. It's from Google Groups. It's right here. And this is not, the, this doesn't match what they have written here. Um, you know, going from one edge to the other, we got um, five volts, ground, not connected, and plus 12. 5 volts ground not connected and plus 12. 5 volts ground not connected. Now, so even if you reverse it, it is not it, it is not correct. So is this one incorrect also? Well, you know, I went ahead and clicked the Google images and I uh, found this one. And when I open that page, this matches the Google groups. Yeah, so we're looking directly at the PSU and and ground is pin 3, which is this top corner over here. And one, the one across from it is 12 volts. This is always scary for me. It takes a steady hand and you don't want to short anything out. Okay, so that's 12 volts. That's where it should be. This one in the top left corner is un the unused one. And then right here we should have plus five ah. and there we go but the fact is is that this guy this site claims that this is the source and when you go to that source it's not the same so this is a typo for these people and because it is the first hit that you get in Google somebody very quite possibly and probably quite possibly could have already blown up CD32's by wiring their power connector wrong based upon this. So please, 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 if you know how to get a hold of these people, if you know how to, uh, uh, you know, what channel to, to let them know, if you click this uh, contributor thing, it takes you to a face, which is strange, and then you click that, and, and then you have, um, you know, I guess, yeah, so if you look at this, page does not exist. So, yeah, I'm just, you know, I didn't really see a way to get a hold of, I'll keep looking. Maybe there's a contact for this website or whatever, but, um, but don't let the possibility of me getting a hold of them stop you. If you know these people, if you know this guy, please, please, please tell them to, to correct it because I don't want to see any more, uh, any CD32s get blown up. So anyway, this is the correct pinout right here and it does match somebody's drawing. This is the back of the uh, CD32 and this is actually the connector itself. I'm not sure why they went one, two, three, four. It is usually in a circular pattern. Um, but these these two actually match with each other plus it matches with the power supply that I have. So, so would this brick your CD32 um, or would it brick your power supply? Well, let's see. Um, <clears throat> this is, is I've identified this as being the, it doesn't, uh, it says looking at the DIN straight on, but <laughs> it doesn't say whether it's the power cord or the looking at the DIN on the back of the CD32. But what I've discovered is, is that this is looking at the male pins on the actual power cord. People really need to specify these things. Uh, be very specific when you do these postings. Of course, who knows when this was. <laughs> this is a Google Groups that I mean, it could very well be from 20 or 30 years ago. 
It's just uh, the Usenet that was, uh, you know, imported into Google Groups. Anyway, so um, this is basically spun 180 degrees. So we're looking at, when we look at pin 1, it actually does match pin 1 here. And we've got the 5 volts DC on both. Okay, so that's good. Now we go to pin 2 here. And now what we're looking at is going to 3 here. So we're hooking... 12 volts plus 12 volts to ground um, so you'll be sending 12 volts to the ground plane on the CD32 and plus 5 will be where it needs to go and then so that is really really not good um, and then we take uh, number 3 which is pin 4 3 over here is ground and pin 4 here is is that not connected one so we're sending um, we're sending ground to something that's not connected so uh, it looks like we wouldn't have ground in the CD32 it would be floating uh, which could interact with <laughs> the plus 5 and the plus 12 uh, where they are and then of course number 4 here is is not connected and you'd be sending it over to 2 which is plus 12 so that really isn't an issue so you'd be doing it this way and you'd be plugging it into this yeah I'm, I'm correct yeah I believe it could very well probably will blow up your CD32 um, that would just be a shame so I've just sent a message to that Joaquin guy uh, found his contact on a obscure portion of this website by actually googling his you know googling his name plus email I found it sent him a message who knows if he even gets it but if you happen to know the guy uh, please also let him know uh, that that this page is wrong it's the first that comes up in Google that's a complete disaster. I don't know why it's been left that way. Maybe it's maybe he's not around or unavailable, and nobody can do anything about it. Um, you know that's, that would be a huge shame. Uh, you know, perhaps we there's a way to contact the host of this website, whoever's paying the monthly or annual fee, and get him to take the page down. Taking the page down is better than having the wrong information. Anyway, so, uh, yeah.